What is going on, Puck Nation? And welcome back to an awesome video. Today, we're going to be talking about laptops. I've been seeing the question pop up where people are like, okay, what's a good laptop for farm sim? Well, I just found a website. I actually Googled it, which a lot of people don't want to do anymore these days. Shocking. But here are some PCs. Um, you know, these are just recommendations, but I believe you hit that. And here is an assortment of laptops. So here you go. Here's an awesome, honest to God review. So you can see what laptops are doing. You can see their ratings for the game, which this is probably going to help me decide on a laptop because I do want one. I was leaning towards the Lenovo's. Uh, they have the Y720s and the Y540s. So you can go through here, you can see 16 gigs of RAM. But look at this, so we have a $800 laptop that only has 8 gigs of RAM, but this one has 16, but this is a 84% rating. So you can look at the specs, compare them. Uh, we got some more, and then we'll go back. And then there's $500 PCs. So if you're getting just into gaming, you can get something with... You have to get something with a dedicated graphics card. If it's AME um, or GeForce, you got to have a dedicated graphics card. So here's one for 440 or $434. So you can check out the ratings. Not very good, but, you know... You gotta work what you work with. Um, here's the rating system on the top 1,000 games. This only has about 416. Uh, here's Fortnite. Some of the games. Here's GTA 5. You know, recommendations. Look at that. That processor. It's just about halfway of requirements. The memory you can upgrade. So I don't know about processors. I don't know if you can. Graphics card. I know you can't. But I don't know about the processor. I don't know. I don't think so. I think it's just RAM and memory for sure. So you can probably boost that up and help the processor out. But don't try to run it on high like most people would. And then you can pick another one. You can probably pick this guy. And then they'll show you. So if you have particular games like you play, you know, GTA 5, I'm going to see where it, yep so we're gonna pick GTA 5 so I really want to play GTA 5 on my laptop that I want to get well I want to spend a thousand dollars simple as that click on that and then walk it through so I know this video is kind of late for Christmas but you know if you got a birthday coming up after Christmas mine's in February so I know a lot of people are in January so but there you go. You have an easier time deciding on a laptop because, trust me, I've been like so overwhelmed at these prices and these graphics cards. But now, this really narrows the search down. Look at this one. For $900, $928, get 12 gigs of RAM with a 10, 1050 Ti. So that's a good one. So you even save 46 bucks because we are in peak se you know, Christmas season. So, short little video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I don't know when this will go up. I hope you enjoy all the multiplayer videos. Um, for sure, enjoy the uh, Christmas special video with the Coca-Cola. I'm still trying to get the rest of that video while I'm recording this, but I believe in Cody. It's obviously the holidays, so I do have faith in him. So with that, hope you guys do enjoy your holidays. I already celebrated Christmas on the 21st, so that was because of family arrangements, so leave it at that. Uh, this was our second year of doing it. I'm definitely getting used to it. It does shorten up the uh, shopping for Christmas, but not by much. It's not a big difference, as you would think. So... Hope you guys enjoy your Christmas. I got a lot of cool stuff for my brand new truck I'm going to be getting soon. 
Uh, I got some road flares, LED ones, a tow rope for a like 36,000 pound vehicle, a dash cam because people around here drive like shit. So almost got in a car accident Thursday. Guy ran a red light and decided to crawl five miles an hour through the intersection. He's damn lucky I did not T-bone his ass because I was about to. So... Be careful out there when you drive if you are old enough, which I did check the YouTube analytics, and we have nobody that is 13 through 17 that is counted for or that should not be lying, but keep it that way, guys, because that is very important coming the first of the year. So that looks really good on my records and uh, a lot of other people, so I can finally get away from this coppa shit. So... If you are under the age of 13, I'm just going to say it out blatantly. Stop watching anybody's content because you're just going to get us in trouble. So make sure you're the appropriate age, at least above 13 years old. Let's not make this a problem. So I don't know why YouTube is trying to pin this on us because technically we do not collect any data from you from our videos. That's all up to YouTube. So I don't know why they're trying to pin this on us, but we're going to fight and we're going to we're going to make it to the end, boys and girls. So this is what you do. You stand your ground. Fuck YouTube. And they can kiss my ass at this point because they threw us under the bus and I'm not very happy with them. So have a great day. Let's stay positive. We'll get through this. My dad has quote unquote said his famous quote is more than more will be said than done so let's hope this all blows away and it's just something to get us really angry about we'll see you guys later